Hello, today I'm going to continue working on the Brumby, I'm going to try installing a charge port. Okay, so here's the existing plug that can come out now. There we go. And what I need to do is to put this in here. Now, I'm hoping it will fit. I'm not absolutely sure. What I've come up with is that I'll put it in from behind. This looks like it should go in from the front uh, with those countersunk holes there, but it's not exactly round at the back, so I don't really know that, that is the way to do it. So what I'm going to do is to drill an 83 millimeter hole in here. There's already a hole in there. Ah, so I've got that blanking. So that, that's 83, 82 millimeters there. And I've got myself a hole saw, an 83 millimeter hole saw. That's what they had in the shop. And so you can't, of course, drill a hole with a hole saw when there's already a hole in the middle. Uh, now I had this blanking plate in before and so what I'm going to do is to put that blanking plate back in wherever it fits, uh, screw it back up and then drill the hole in the middle and use that as my as my hole. Although looking at it now that might not work because of those bolts are in the way. I might measure that and see. Is my electrical tag so that I can plug in at work. Everything has to be tagged at work, including a car. Okay, I can get at it a bit better now. And I'm hoping I can find the center. That's the center. So I'm just looking at it, I don't really want it dead center. I really do want to drill this hole out a bit below, basically as low as I can get within that circle, just because of what's behind it when I push the, um, the, the socket in there. It, it's, it's going to hit something behind it and um, there's more room at the bottom. So if I can get it to the bottom and not go center, that would be perfect. Now I found some smaller bolts. I'll just check, make sure the nuts don't go through. Yes, so they're just big enough. That's what I'm after.
And it goes outside all of the bolts. Just, um, yeah, depending on exactly how thick the saw cuts. Might do it. All right. So that's cutting into the aluminium so far. Oh, it's cutting in very quickly. It managed to cut it all right. Um, got through the aluminium and, and then got through the steel. It quicker than I thought it would do. It didn't take very long at all. Um, I need it, Because I had the aluminium and then the steel, I could see that I was cutting through one side, cutting through up here quicker to start with and so I was able to adjust my angles and go to the other side but it seemed to work all right. So here's a type 2 socket that I've bought from EVSC Australia. It's got a nice positive cover on it there, seems quite waterproof. Inside you have your typical type 2 socket so you've got four power pins for three phase, then your earth in the middle, and these two are communications. It's got this red and green up the top here. We'll look at that in a second. So at the back, you've got this waterproofing type thing here. Pull that off. And in behind here, I've got these two wired in already. But um, yeah, if you look in here, oh, apparently it was that one that was done up. So these two pins would normally sit in there, but they've come out because I've got the, the wires connected to them. So in here you have your pins. a solder cup connection so you solder into there. The central one's slightly different to the others. These all have a black tip, the central one doesn't. Now they also have a little black o-ring in there. At least this one they all have except for one I reckon I've just lost it. So they all sit in like so. Now around the outside, you've got these covers here. So they all kept in with the two screws. This one has a, a tube on it. And what it is, is there's a hole there. And from the front, uh, there are holes in under there in all four corners. So I assume what it is, is is for water. So if this is in the rain, the water will drain down through the hole. If it was up that way, it would drain down through that hole. And you can put this on the one that's at the bottom. So you could put it onto any of them. I assume they're all connected up inside as well. So if any liquid goes in through that one, then it can come out this hole. In the top one, you take that off then you can see the red and the green glowing through there so that's and you've got your little slot there so that's so that you can put an LED behind there so I've bought a couple of LEDs to to put in there I've bought bright white ones uh, and I'll connect them up to the the charging controller that I've got so yes it's a neat little thing there's a, there's a lot to it uh, and I'm about to hack away at it. I've drawn my line around here and see how I go cutting it. So here's my thing. It'll sort of possibly mostly fit in there. 
but it can't go this way. There's not, not enough room and the, the hole is not big enough. So I need to come in from behind. But again, there's not enough room because there's something there and there's something there, which means this flange, oh, it's got that way, this flange won't go in there and there. Now, I knew about this before, and so when it was all together still, I um, put a bit of cardboard behind there, and then I uh, cut out this bit of perspex. So this bit of perspex uh, goes up. Which way does it go up? This way. It will fit in there nicely. So that's flat, and it will fit in there. So what that means is that if I cut put that on there and cut these pieces out along the edge then we will hopefully um, have something that will be able to make it fit. So that means I won't be able to use these bottom two holes, I should be able to use these top two holes and maybe use another hole in there, drill another hole in there. Uh, and that's going in behind, yes, and so to drill holes I need to drill through there and put screws in, probably probably just straight into the plastic. I could put one there and put a, a nut behind it I suppose. Now I've drawn my line along here, this is just a pencil line, it's fairly freehand. I'm going to try using this tool, so this is a, I'm not actually sure what the tool is called, it might be something fancy like multi-tool. Um, it's got this plunge blade on it and I'll try just pushing that in and see how that goes through the plastic. These things sometimes melt the plastic. But we'll see how it goes. Worked all right, it has melted it a bit. Tool definitely likes it better when it's straight. So this is fitting reasonably well with only that amount cut off it. I suppose I don't have to go exactly flat. So that goes in there like so. And what it means is that I'll have room to put a screw through there and two at the top probably. Let's see, so the, the holes that are in there are something like that. Yeah, we'll see how we go. I need to get the drill in there somehow to drill a hole. Um, and yeah, either self-tapping screws through there, wood screws, or um, actually line up with those holes and, and do bolts. Either would be fine. I think that'll look look good, and it's um, it's just missing under there. I don't know if you can see it. There's a there's a piece there, and it just misses there. So when I put it in, yeah, I can I can just about get a finger out. It's coming down to about there. <laughs> 